The Invicare Supine Tub is designed to provide the semi-ambulatory and non-ambulatory resident a relaxing, full immersion hydromassage bathing experience that is also easier on the attendant. Invicare tub controls are intuitive in design and easy to use. And rather than having row upon row of buttons, handles, and controllers, we have just a handful. A button to control the shower wand. The shower wand is located just outside of the tub in this cradle. A button to fill the tub. A button to control the pipeless Whirlpool jets. A lever to control water temperature. A thermometer that displays the water temperature. And on the adjustable height version, up and down buttons to raise or lower the tub to a safe working height for the caregiver. Below the control panel are four Whirlpool jets positioned to provide a relaxing, soothing spa experience. The drain is opened and closed by using this rubber stopper attached with a beaded chain. It is easy to clean and disinfect. It's all been designed to make the bathing process safe, efficient, and comfortable for the resident and the attendant. Let's watch the bathing process using the adjustable height supine tub and the Invicare stretcher lift. Move the stretcher lift to the resident's room. You'll find that moving this through doorways and halls is easier if you put the head and foot sections in their upright position. Lower the head and foot sections to a flat position. Just press the stretcher frame button and lower the wing arm. Position the stretcher so that it is parallel to the side of the bed. Roll the resident on the bed so that they are positioned on their side facing away from the lift. Remove the side guard. Push the stretcher so that the stretcher is above the bed. Lower it using the hand pendant so that the stretcher is just above the mattress. Lock the casters. Roll the resident onto the stretcher. Attach the side guard. Buckle the safety belt. Cover the resident to provide warmth and dignity. Unlock the casters. Use the controls on the hand pendant to position the resident to a comfortable height for transport. Raise the head section so that the resident can maintain eye contact by adjusting the stretcher end. Move the resident to the bathing area. Move the lift to center the resident over the tub. Use the hand pendant to elevate or lower the stretcher so that it is slightly higher than the side of the tub. If your tub doesn't have the height adjustment feature, use the lift hand pendant to lower the resident into the tub. If you have a height adjustable model, use the height control on the tub to bring it to a safe working height. In all cases, make sure that all parts of the stretcher clear the sides of the tub. Lock the rear casters. Close the drain with the drain plug. Press the autofill button to fill the tub. It will take about five minutes. Double check the water temperature to make sure the gauge is in the green zone of 95 to 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Confirm the reading by testing the water with your hand. While the tub is filling, use water from the shower wand to keep the resident warm and rinse the hair and body. Press the shower wand button to turn it on. You can set the wand for standard spray or massage by rotating the wand's head to the desired setting and you can control the flow of water by adjusting this lever on the hose. Wash the resident's hair and upper body. 
A small amount of Indicare shampoo and body lotion on a washcloth is an effective way to clean and soothe the skin. Sensors will turn off the water once the tub is full. If you want more water in the tub, press and hold the tub fill button. After bathing, the resident may enjoy a few minutes of relaxing hydrotherapy massage. You may want to add Invicare defoamer and skin conditioner. Two capsules placed into the water help soften, moisturize, and condition the skin while controlling excessive foaming in Whirlpool tubs. Press the Whirlpool button to turn on the jets. When finished, press the Whirlpool jet button once again to turn the jets off. Then drain the water from the tub by pulling up on the beaded chain. Lower the tub to its lowest position. As the tub drains, use the shower wand to rinse the resident's body. Then dry the resident with a towel. Unlock the rear casters. Raise the resident high enough to clear the sides of the tub. For non-adjustable tubs, unlock the rear casters of the lift and raise the resident high enough to clear the side of the tub. Then move the resident away. Finish drying the resident and cover him. Then move the resident back to his room. Position the stretcher parallel to the bed. Adjust the head wing so the stretcher is horizontal. Push the stretcher so that the stretcher is above the bed. Lower it using the hand pendant so that the stretcher is just above the mattress. Lock the rear casters. Remove the side guard. Remove the strap. Roll the resident off the stretcher and onto the mattress. Unlock the casters. Move the lift away. The lift and tub must be cleaned and disinfected after every use.